Hey coders and welcome to episode 5 of our App Engine playlist on the Google Cloud Platform course. In today's episode we're going to be covering how to set up your own custom domain. Now you're probably already aware of what a domain is, but just as a quick refresher, a domain is anything that comes after the protocol and ends with a .com, .org, .net, or any other top level domain that you select. So when you initially create an App Engine application, Google or App Engine will provide to you a generic streamlined domain for your app. So the one that we received is Axial Theater 304520.appspot.com. But if you ever wanted to change that into something more customized or something more unique, such as davidweissprogramming.com, that is something they will allow you to do, and that is exactly what we will be demoing in today's video. So I don't want to go too deeply into the weeds of how the domain name system works, but I thought it would be profitable at least to give a high level overview just to provide some context in some of the later steps which we'll be taking in the live demonstration. So let's say that you wanted to access Google.com site. Well, when you make a request in your address bar, you type in Google.com, it actually, that request isn't sent directly to Google's web servers. Initially, that request will be sent to something called DNS servers. And you can think of DNS servers as basically like a phone operator or maybe a phone book. Basically, all that DNS servers do is look at your domain and map it to the corresponding IP address. So basically, it just looks through its entire ledger. It, say, it sees where is Google.com and which IP address is associated with that. And then once they find that IP address, they send it back to your browser. And then once your browser has it, it will cache that IP address and then make the original get or post request, which you made to that IP address, to Google's IP address, and then that will be sent to their web servers, and then the web servers will process that request and then send the resources back to your browser. And this could be such as HTML files or whatever you requested from Google's servers. So that's all I'm going to share right now on DNS, but just keep this in mind. DNS servers will take a domain and then they will return the corresponding IP address. So in order to set up your own custom domain on your App Engine application, there are three things in which you'll need to do. Number one, purchase your own domain. Number two, verify the ownership of that domain. And then finally, add resource records to your DNS servers. So that's what we will be covering in today's video. So without any further ado, let's jump on over to the live demonstration and see how to do this. As always, let's begin this live demonstration by checking on the current status of our application. And because now we are so familiar with the App Engine dashboard, we know that all we would need to do is just click on this link in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then once we do, we will be redirected to our website. So this is the current UI which we have been working on in the past couple of episodes. But now I want to redirect your attention and your focus to this address bar that's at the top of the browser. So this is the current domain and URL that is used to access our site. And if you think about it, this is actually pretty cool that we have this already associated with our site. This was provisioned automatically as soon as we made an App Engine application. And that is pretty cool, but we are definitely not going to want to keep this because it's not really catchy. We're not going to want to market it to potential users. They're going to forget all of these numbers. It has really nothing to do with our brand that is associated with this site. So we're definitely going to want to change this into something more brand worthy. So how, are we, how can we change our website URL, also known as our website domain? Well, in order to do that, we need to go back into our Google Cloud Console and go to App Engine, scroll all the way down to this sidebar uh, tab right here that says Settings. Once you do, then you want to click on Custom Domains, and then you will have this text. It says App Engine lets you serve your application through a custom domain. If you use a custom domain, Google will provide a managed auto-renewing SSL 
or SSL certificate for security. So what that means is basically that we will be provided this protocol HTTPS will be able to have this S tacked on to our protocol and that will basically just make our site a lot more secure and it'll even look more secure because we'll get this little lock icon within the address bar. So that is something we definitely want and that is something that is automatically provided to us from App Engine. So that's really cool. All right, so now it says if you don't have a domain yet, purchase one through Google Domains by clicking register a new domain. So you don't technically need to purchase your domain through Google Domains. That's just obviously something that they suggest just to keep it all within house. But if you want, you can purchase it through say Bluehost, Domains.com, HostGator, GoDaddy, any one of those domain registers should be fine. But since we are now Google fanboys, let's just continue with the process of Google Domains and register one through Google Domains. Alright, so once we click on that button, we will be redirected to Google Domains and then from here we can search to see whether a domain has already been taken or not. Again, domains are unique, so only one person can register or one domain can be registered with one person. There can't be multiple accounts that have the same access to a domain because you, you don't want to like name your, your site google.com because that is already mapped to a different site. Right? And if you even search for, say, Google or Google.com, you'll see that these endings or these, uh, these domains have already been registered. And, and that is something that you really can't uh, do anything about. Well, maybe sometimes you can, uh, you can offer to buy uh, a domain from someone who has already taken it. But I don't think that Google is going to want to sell theirs. All right, so let's go keep on searching for maybe... Let's see, maybe David Weiss programming is available. Let's go and search for it. All right, and if we search for it, we can see that, yes, it is indeed available. We have davidweissprogramming.com available. We have .org available, .net available. All of these endings we have available to us. But we are going to purchase... Uh, we are going to purchase the .com ending just because that's a lot more popular and it's a lot more rememberable from users. So this is what I would suggest getting the .com ending if you are going to make your own domain, especially if it's for a commercial website. All right, so we're going to click on this and then we are now going to add davidweissprogramming.com to our cart. And then let's go to our cart to complete checkout. All right, so it says we're going to register this domain. So it's $12 a year. This is something that you need to pay Again, there may be some other domain registers that lets you buy it for say $5 for the first year and then $18 for next uh, for, for subsequent years. But again, this is a flat $12 per year. You can select any one of these if you want. If you already know that you're going to do it for 10 years, you can select this. But I'm just going to do it for one year for $12. All right, so we want to have this selected privacy protection. And we're also going to, you can select uh, auto renew on or off. This is basically with, uh, once your one year expires, do you want to automatically re-register your domain? Uh, and I'm just going to say yes for now. All right, so this, if you want your own custom email, say if you want, uh, let's say you at davidweissprogramming.com. So rather than the normal gmail.com, you could have your own domain.com as your email address. If you wanted that, you would just select this button. It's an extra $12 per month, or you could do the business starter, which is $6 per month, but we're not going to cover that today, so we're going to unselect that. All right, once, once we see everything is good, then we can now check out. Once you check out, then you're going to need to add in some billing and some more information, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. All right, so you just filled in some personal information and now you're going to have to fill in your billing information. So again, it's $12 per year, something very affordable, which is nice, but uh, once you have a, uh, a credit card or something that you want to use to pay with, then all you need to do is just click on buy. But then there we go, it has just registered and we have just completed our purchase for davidweissprogramming.com. So we are off to a great start, but this doesn't mean that we have 
uh, that we can start using this just yet, right? If we say David Weiss programming.com, nothing is really going to happen. The site can't be reached because we haven't actually we haven't actually associated this domain with our app engine application. So let's go and do that right now. All right, so let's go back into our Google Cloud console and we have just registered a new domain. So now we're going to add a custom domain. All right, yep, this is the domain. It already recognized that this is the domain that we want to use. So we're going to say continue. All right, so it says now point your domain to Axial Theater and, and this is basically our project ID. So it says Google will add a free auto renewing SSSL. Yep, we already know that. All right, so it says the following domains and subdomains will be mapped. Let's save mappings. And we should, we will have to wait for a little bit. All right, that's it. We'll hit continue. And now we're going to have to update your DNS records to enable security. So this is basically where we're going to update our DNS uh, servers with these record types right here. So there's a lot of types in here. Uh, right now we have A, uh, uh, quadruple A, and C name. There's a lot more types in here if you ever want to research some of these then you can go to this website right here and there's a lot of different types, but we're going to again use A. This is basically we're going to map uh, map our domains to IP addresses version four. Triple A, or I mean quadruple A is version six, IP address version six. And then C names are basically aliases or also known as canonical names. All right, so let's go now back into our App Engine application. We'll get all of these and then go into DNS. So again, here is our name servers right here. So we'll scroll all the way down. So here are our custom resource records. So this is where we are now going to, to paste this data right here into our DNS servers right here under, uh, under custom resource records. All right, so let's start doing this. So it says type A, so this is resource record A, and here is some data. So I'm going to copy this one at a time, and I might speed this up. And then we are going to hit this button right here that says add. And again, you're going to want to keep this blank. This is this at symbol basically just is a shorthand for your uh, root domain. So that's davidweissprogramming.com. So basically what we're adding is davidweissprogramming.com is going to be mapped to these IP addresses, which is where our application is, is served from. So we'll say add. All right, so that is of type A, but we have a little bit more to do. We have quadruple A. So let me just now copy all of these. All right, and then after we have all of our IP version six addresses in there, underneath the quadruple A, and again, leave this blank, you can customize your TTL if you want, time to live if you want, but the one hour is pretty good. All right, then after you have all of that written out, then you'll add add. All right, and then we have one last thing to do, and that is the C name, the canonical name, and basically this just means that right now we purchased davidtheweissprogramming.com, but if someone were to type in the address bar www.davidweissprogramming.com, then we're basically just going to redirect them to davidweissprogramming.com. All right, so let's go select C name. And then right now, see this is the alias, so we'll, we'll copy www, and then we'll paste that right in here. All right, and then domain name, we are going to copy this right here paste it in like that, and then hit add. All right, so now we have just added all of our, re our resource records into our DNS servers right there. It says they'll take effect within the next 48 hours. So if they haven't taken effect immediately, you may need to wait some time, but uh, generally it happens within the hour. So let's go back to our App Engine application and we'll hit done now. And so now we're going to have to wait for this little spinny bar or this little spinny circle to stop spinning. And then once we do, we'll know that we have set up our domain name accurately. So 
this generally hap or this will generally uh, uh, last around like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video right now and then come back when it's done spinning. The time is now 4.17 p.m. All right, so we are back and we have now noticed that the little spinny circles have stopped spinning. So this should all be working now. And let's go and check on the time. It's only 4.26, so that was less than 10 minutes. And I went and walked away for a little bit and came back, so it may have even been less than 10 minutes. Anyways, I'm really surprised at how quick this process is now taking. It used to take a long time, and, it, and as, as they said, it can take up to 48 hours, but all of that lasted less than 10 minutes. All right, so now let's test to see if these are working. Let's go up into uh, a new tab and type in David Weiss Programming. Dot com and if we do and hit the enter key then there we go we are now being redirected to the correct IP address which hosts our our website in our app engine application and now we have a very uh, a catchy uh, looking um, domain name for our website URL all right so I know it says not secure right here and it did they did promise a SSL certificate they do actually provide that, but you need to hook it up with your web, um, with your App Engine application. So we do have our SSL certificate, but we just need to add a couple things to our app.yaml file, which which I can uh, definitely make a video about. But uh, that's just if you are curious about why this says not secure when we should have our SSL certificate. Anyways, the important thing is that now we have our custom domain, and even if we type in www.this, we should still be redirected here. And there we go. We do get the uh, little SSL certificate on, on that go around. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account as well. All right, guys, until next video, I'll see you then.